today, we're announcing the most ambitious transformation in the way that we staff the NHS in its history, the long-term workforce plan. This is a 15-year plan to deliver the biggest ever expansion in the number of doctors and nurses that we train, and a plan to reform the NHS so we deliver better care in a changing world, and a plan that not only eases the pressures today, but protects this precious national institution for the long term. The plan rests on three principles, train, retain, and reform. First, training will double the number of medical training places by 2031, focusing on areas where there are too few doctors today. We'll train over 24,000 more nurses and midwives a year and increase the number of GP training places by 50%. In time, this will allow us to reduce our spending on temporary agency staff by 10 billion pounds and cut the need for international recruitment. Today, the proportion recruited from overseas is around one in four. With our plan, it will fall to just one in 10. Second, doctors and other clinicians can spend a lifetime gaining invaluable experience. We want to hang on to those skills for as long as we can. So we'll retain more of our dedicated workforce, keeping up to 130,000 more staff in the NHS over the next 15 years. It's not enough just to have more doctors and nurses. We need to change the way they work so that they can deliver better care for patients. Now, partly this is about seizing the opportunities of new technologies like AI, or just look at virtual wards, which use technology to allow patients to recover at home, providing a better service at lower cost. 